Namaste, God's Goddesses and Emissaries of Light. I most certainly, absolutely did not forget about my Leo, the lions and lionesses. Okay, let's see what's coming in for you for the month of February. You have the lover's card, okay? Intimate relationships, carefully weigh your decisions, and good health. What I am seeing for you guys with the lover's card is that love is definitely going to be in the air. Makes very perfect sense. With it being Valentine's Day, lover's day, you are going to get bit by the love bug if you haven't already love is going to look sweet for you your health is going to look good for you there's going to be some decisions that need to be made in the month of february for leo you also have the ten of fire there's been a lot of work um right now you need to accept help from others and start delegating your life is a little bit out of balance and it says that you have some stress-related health concerns. But it looks like the month of February is going to change that and turn that around for you. You are going to have good health because love always heals. And it's just saying that you're out of equilibrium right now. Like your work and your personal life is out of balance. So in the month of February, please Get some balance into your life and get information, okay? Get everything in order. Your house in order, your work in order. By doing that, you're going to have the four fire is telling you con contentment, peace, and abundance, a happy home life, the successful completion of a project. So many of you are going to have some projects that are going to come up in the month of February. These projects could be both personal and they can also be business related. However the case may be, you see those two roses that are coming out of the fire with the dragon. The dragon is in the orb. So the orb represents your creativity and your ingenuity and your ability to rise above it all. You are a conscious co-creator with source energy. You can turn this into the most beautiful month for you in 2019. But you have to make sure that you stay committed and stay on fire for the things that you want and the desires that you want to bring into fruition. <clears throat> Okie dokie. You have the night of fire, passionate, adventurous, self-assured, restless. So there's going to be a sudden event that needs immediate attention. Time is of the essence. Think things through carefully. So what I'm seeing is that there is going to be someone that is coming in. It's a young person. This can be business or it can be personal because this is a general reading. Take what resonates with you. But this person is going to be able to help you out with a project. Now, this person is going to be very passionate about whatever it is that the two of you are going to do. This can be male or female since this is a general reading as well. Now, this can also be a love offer. Make sure that you don't just jump at the first offer. Think it through very carefully because there's more that can be offered or that can come out of this situation. So don't shortchange yourself by going in head first. Don't dive in head first. Really ponder over it and make sure that you're weighing your options before you make your final decision. Sounds good so far, Leos. You are the star. Yes, you are. This is a wish fulfillment card. Happy times. Make positive, optimistic, long-term plans. 
and you are on the right path. So this card comes to you to show you that you are doing everything that you are supposed to do. You are right where you are supposed to be in the grand scheme of time. All the stars are aligned and everything is going to work out in your favor, provided that you listen to your intuition, your into me, I listen, and look at the stars. You have the universe and the cosmo and source energy backing you. You are basically the star in your own life. This is one of the best cards to get out of the tarot deck along with the chariot and the empress or the emperor. So you do have this major arcana card, which means that the month of February will be a major shift for you. You have the shadow. The shadow basically is like the temperance card. You are both working with your shadow and your light side, which is what you are supposed to do. People, people, people. You cannot have light without the dark. Light has to be casted upon something. So you need the dark in order to illuminate the light. So it looks like you are working on those weaknesses and you are overcoming them and you have a healthy balance between the two. Because as you can see, this represents you, your masculine and your feminine energy, dark, light, sun, moon, solar, lunar, okay? And so basically the universe is saying, good job. This is the reason why you're the star and you're going to get your wish fulfillment because you didn't put in that work, baby. And everything is going to be beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And you are going to get your fulfillment or wishes. It's going to be a beautiful month for you. Some of you are going to get some things that you've been waiting for for a very long time. It is going to come into fruition for you in the month of February. Some of you are going to get the car that you always wanted, the new home that you always wanted, and you are going to get the man or woman of your dreams. February looks very, very good for you, Leo. Oh my goodness. And guess what? The universe is giving you the special strength that you need in order to balance all of your priorities and different aspects of your life. So you can have that peaceful romance along with that finance because they both work hand in hand and they go together so beautifully, baby. And you are going to be able to have the support that is needed because right now you are willing and dealing and you need help. And so guess what? The universe is going to step in to give you exactly what you need in all directions and time and space because you are a child of the universe. You are divinely loved and guided and protected. And so your angels, your guides, your way shores, and your higher self is looking after you to make sure that you continue on the path and everything is going to come to you exactly in the time which is needed. You have the tools already because you have your spiritual weapon tree. You are a badass and you have a whole arsenal of badassery. It's coming to you. Whatever it is that you want, the universe is already telling you it is yours. Some of you are having a blockage in your crown chakra. This is the reason why you got the crown chakra in reverse. It is a need and a time for you to connect with your higher self so you can have the most beautiful unfoldment and development in your spiritual journeys. Some of you are looking for answers and are not receiving the answers that you need because you are looking in the without. You need to turn within. This is what this card is coming on the scene and showing up for because you are seeking answers outside of yourself. Stop doing that, Leo. Stop doing that. You don't have to do that, especially when it comes to love. Some of you have lost someone very near and dear to your heart. It can be a love interest, romance, or it could definitely be someone that is a friend or family member that has passed away beyond the veil on the other side. I am here to give you a message from those that have passed on the other side. Oh, God, so many. I'll take one, please. Okay, 
there's so many people that want to give so many messages for you, Leo, and the Leos that are listening. But I'm going to take this one and I'm going to use it for the collective, okay? The reason why there has been such a grand loss for you at this time is because there is a contract with someone that is close to you, a spiritual soul contract. This person has come to their end of the the assignment and the agreement so they can continue on the other side of the veil to help you with your spiritual growth. If that resonates, fine. If not, that's fine too, because I'm not here to tickle ears. I'm here to just push out a message. And that is the message that I receive. And nine times out of 10 collectively, this is what I hear them tell me from the other side. This is nothing new. I'm used to hearing this message. If you're not for the very first time, there you go. Hopefully, this can lighten your load. I'm hearing that this is coming from a twin flame. This is your reunion. It didn't look like the way you wanted it to look, but it happened according to the soul contract you signed with your boo. How you doing? They are here with you and they are telling you that this is a spiritual sacred union. And that is the end of that channel message for that loved one that came through for that special person that has been in grief, agony, and bereavement. Hope this brings you solace and condolences that you need in order to heal and to move forward with the notion of knowing that you are not alone. You are always loved and guided and you have your twin that is helping you and is always with you. And now you are completely in union until you get to that other side. And then you will be in your spiritual union and perfect harmony in the cosmos like you have always been before you incarnated. Wow, that was a long message. Moving forward, spiritual union for those that are still on the earth and are in union with your twin flame. This is the twin flame card. How do I know? It's one cup. It's two people and the number two. The two becomes one. This is the twin flame card in this deck. This is telling me that some of you are already in union and in the month of February, it is just going to be sweeter and sweeter and better and better, okay? And then this card is telling me for you that are not in union with the love of your life, you are going to be in for a big surprise because the universe is going to do a plot twist and bring you two lovebirds back together in all directions in time and space, you are going to be suspended in time because love is going to take over. You can no longer run. You can no longer hide because love has found you and love is going to come knocking at your door. Yes. And the two are going to become one. You see that one cup? Does it look like there's two cups there? No, it's one cup because you guys are going to start drinking out of the same cup. And you're going to turn that I into we. The I am is going to be the we are. And so it is. It's going to be a beautiful month for you, Leos. And I'm going to go ahead and leave you with that. What a beautiful reading. I love it. It is so amazing. I feel great off of reading your reading. Oh my goodness. Woo. What a powerful reading that that is. It is a good karma to like, subscribe, comment, share, and leave a love donation. I also do have a wish registry list for Amazon. If you feel inclined to purchase something on that registry as a gift, as a love donation. That will be greatly appreciated as well. Thank you so much. I now wrap you on my love and I cloak you with the light of Christ consciousness. Namaste, everyone.